man. Woo! Man, oh man, oh man. How y'all doing today, man? Hope y'all doing good, staying well, staying healthy, all that great stuff. And listen, bro, I've been seeing a lot of love on the LeBron versus Jordan GOAT comparison video. A lot of love on there, so I really, really do appreciate that. And also, we hit 6,000 subscribers. Man, clap it up for that, man. 6,000. 6,000. Let's much check me at 6,070 subscribers right now, man. I appreciate every single last one of y'all. I really do. And those who got dreams, you know, a vision, chase it. Chase it. You put in the work, you're going, you going to get, bro. You're going to get no matter how long that takes. Chase your dreams, bro. Yeah, man, we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep grinding over here. Keep doing what we do. Today, we are reacting to another Michael Jordan video, but this video came out like real recently. I think like two days ago. This is from Basketball Time Machine. Shout out Basketball Time Machine for those who don't know. NBA legends explain why Michael Jordan is the GOAT. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, you don't have to subscribe. That's not what I'm gonna force you to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of the people that's gonna say, subscribe right now. No, you know, listen, you don't have to. I understand. I understand why, because I be watching YouTube videos and I don't subscribe to some people. You know, it is the way it is. But if you are interested in these past couple of videos and you just keep on coming back to the channel, you know what I'm saying? All I'm gonna say is that it don't hurt to subscribe. It don't hurt. It's for free. Um, no taxes, no fees, no nothing. Um, but if you don't, I understand, trust me. But if you can do me a favor to help your boy out, if you hit that like button, I really do appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of help to the channel boost the algorithm, get us more exposed into the YouTube world. And uh, comment down if you're a Michael Jordan fan, your favorite Michael Jordan moment. You know what I'm saying? Or if you another NBA fan, comment down your favorite NBA player's moment. But without further ado, man, let's just straighten the video, man. Three, two, one. Let's get it, man. Oh yeah. Come here, Mutombo. Huh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What? Hey guys, this yeah. is Dominique Wilkins. And yeah, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payne. Hey, this is Bobby Saul. Hey, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Yeah. yeah. Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to the basketball good, time machine and welcome back to your weekly dose of old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends giving their opinion about Michael Jordan, how great he was. And I know that there are countless videos like this, but there are actually some new clips that I found, so you might haven't seen them yet. But okay. before we dive into today's episode, I want to ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and also like the video if you enjoy the content. And if you want to see even more old school NBA stuff, I like this video. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll show All right, some love, enough man. set. Now let's dive right into All today's episode. Right, I like the video, episode. man. You know what I'm saying? Got to, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, yeah, whoa. Okay, okay, yeah. So the first clip that we're going to take a look at involves Mark Jackson. Obviously, Mark Jackson okay. played for the New York Knicks and the Indiana Pacers and had his rivalries with Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. Let's check it out. How would Jordan do in today's game? Because I've heard a lot of people, man, Jordan <laughs> average 60. Jordan would average 70. Nah, man, he, I, I, I promise you, Jordan going to get 45. In today's game, the rules as they are, how would Jordan do, and how many points do you believe he would average? I don't think anybody's averaging 60 or 70. Okay. So that's, I mean, th those days are over with. Um, mm -hmm. Nobody's going to get Will 50 a game, huh? Not 50 a game. No, that's not going to happen. Um, but I will say this. Michael Jordan would average whatever he want to average. You think he can get 40 a night? Yeah, he can. I mean, yeah. If, 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 yeah, there's no question about it. <laughs> 40 a night, yeah, there's, there's 40. No, yeah. How you gonna get for it? If you go to I, I don't, I, I'm not here to break it down and decipher it. I'm telling you as a witness, I'm testifying <laughs> on behalf of Michael Jeffrey Jordan that he would average 40 a night. If we, we see guys averaging 30. Right. And 35, with all due respect, that don't have the arsenal that he has offensively. I don't know how you get to 40 without that three ball. Well, Jordan's gonna go to the free throw line more than he did <laughs> back then because we were able to beat him up right. and it was ignored to right. a certain extent. Okay. So and, I, and he, he added the three ball in his career. 
if you watch him against the Blazers knock down three. That wasn't his specialty. Right. But it wasn't like he was a liability shooting the basketball. Michael Jordan would average whatever he wanted to average. Now the next clip that we're going to take a look at involved Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas would have and Joe Dumars. More of a and with Isaiah shot Thomas and nowadays, Michael Jordan, you know there was always this love-hate relationship. And I'm pretty sure that until the Last Dance documentary, Isaiah Thomas had many nice things to say about Michael Jordan, which you can see in the following clip. I know how we felt playing against Jordan. Like, Jordan was the most dominant player in our era. And I would, we would, we would talk for hours on the phone watching him play against another team, you know, just admiring him play. But at the same time, it was like there were things that he did in the air that we just couldn't do. We mentioned Jordan. Did you notice his body language? He's still on alert. He's still on alert. In the film room. How like playing against MJ your rookie year? Shaking in my boots. <laughs> first time, <laughs> shaking it, shake, shaking it. The first time I had to guard, I'm like, yo, this, I'm bad. First of all, let me go back. 1997, <laughs> MJ them in the playoffs. I think they they played against the Hawks, right? I'm at the game, playoff game, bro. I got an opportunity to go uh, in the back by the locker room after the game. So I'm standing back there. I'm 17 years old, kid. I, I've never been around NBA players like this, or even, you know, I've never been around somebody like MJ. I'm standing back there, kid, and Pip Black comes Jesus. out. Pip comes out. All these players start coming out. Mike comes around that corner. Bruh, I ain't gonna lie to you. The man had a glow, bro. I swear, Mike, Mike, dog, that shit is real. I, I heard a story before. It's real. Now the next clip that we're going to take a look at involves Ron Artest, a.k.a. Meta World Peace, and he has something very interesting to say about what Michael Jordan would be able to do in today's NBA. Let's check it out. I was an amazing defender. Right. And Jordan had 40. Right. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Right. So you hear a lot of people say, well, Mike would average 40. Mike would average 50. In today's game, with the rules the way they are, you played in both eras. How many points do you think Jordan would literally average per game? Today? Today. Shoot. More than James Harden. <laughs> James Harden <laughs> had a CZ average 36. More than that. For sure. Really? For sure. And I, I was at the Jordan era. Yeah. I was in the LeBron, Kobe. Yeah. Duncan. And I was at the tail end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, 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 sit, I, I played with these guys. Right. I've seen all the three-point balls go right. up. Thinking Jordan would Jordan, no way. Jordan, Jordan would average 50. You believe Jordan would average 50? If he wanted to, right. Like James Harden wants to average 50. He just can't. He right. Yeah, 38. Right. Amazing. Right. If Jordan wants to average 50, if he was playing his era, I think he averages 50. Mm. Well, it's funny, I was talking to James Worthy, not the name drop on you, Scott, but uh, I was talking to the name of James Worthy, and he was like, Can you believe skinny little Michael is Michael Jordan? And I was like, Yeah, because I've been around since 1980. Two. And to see him become what everybody models themselves after. And I've gone years of saying, oh, he was the best in the 90s, Dr. J, Oscar Robinson. I, I just had to admit it. You know, I I'm not I'm not going to get to be this, get to do this again. He was the greatest basketball player in the NBA history. And I don't know if anybody is going to even come close. Now the next clip that we're going to take a look at involved Ray Allen on the Dan Patrick show and obviously Ray Allen played many games against Michael Jordan so let's hear what he has to say. Does LeBron have to do something or can he do something where you would go now I would look at him as the best player? Uh, n no I think he he certainly um, you know just off the cuff he's certainly the top five of all time uh, but Playing against him and MJ, I think it, for me it's MJ all day long, only right. because how I I played against him and yeah. you know MJ just had everything, you know, from mid range to three point to post up game, and he could score and dominate in each position. How effective would Jordan's mid range game be in this era of basketball? Jordan's mid range in this era. Mm. Man, let me tell you something. Players always make the adjustment. He averaged 30, 32, 35, 
Man, Great players adjust, bro. That's just how it is. That's the principle, man. Where we shot more threes, who can forget that they're going to the adjust. Finals game when Jordan made what five, six, seven threes against the Trailblazers and gave them this. I mean, people act like Jordan couldn't shoot threes. Right. He would, just, he would destroy the league now. I mean, he would be setting all-time records. He probably be, he there'll probably be a season he averaged forty. Uh, in this era, especially the way he got to the line, his his mid range will be most effective. One game that, ironically, this may sound a little bit odd, but it's probably more than any other game. That's the game I look forward to the most mm -hmm. because you knew that night you had to be at your absolute best. And so, if there's something, anything, a matchup or whatever, it, that's going to bring out the best in you. You're a true competitor, that's what you really want. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it was the one game I look forward to more than any other game to play against him because he was everything that you just described with LeBron, I was listening to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's about yeah. the way it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. like any slip up, uh, any law, um, any mistake that's made, I'm gonna exploit it. He's gonna take advantage of it. So you had to be so keenly locked in game plan, here's what we're doing, right. here's where I need to be, and you would be furious if somebody didn't rotate they were supposed to, yeah. because you knew, yeah. you know, look, I'm trusting that you're going to be there. Mm -hmm. And so, because if you're not there, dude's, dude's about to do some, you know, yeah. he's about to do something, you know, real freaky here. I mean, you witnessed it. Yeah, I saw it. I did. I did. But I'm just like, I'm like, man, when people say he averaged 40, 45, I'm like, 50, I'm like, Man, do y'all know how many points that is? Yeah, winner takes ball. Win, winner take out. Winner takes ball. Okay. No, that one. So why wow. would it never happen? Because Michael Jordan was all defensive first team nine times. Okay. LeBron James was five times. Okay. Michael Jordan led wait, the no, league. No, no, that's, I, wait, that's I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to answer your question. Okay. So Michael Jordan led the league in scoring ten times. Okay. Ten. Mm -hmm. LeBron James led the league in scoring one. Okay. Ooh, so bad. I'm talking about a guy who's been the best offensive player and the I like Jay Williams, man. I really miss how you think. That was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe Shout to the channel. Too. And I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. Tough. Tough. It was, it was a good handful of people I haven't heard talk about Mike. Only person, only story I already know in that vid was Tracy McGrady's. When he said Mike was glowing. Allen Iverson said the same thing. He said Mike was glowing. I do agree with Ray Allen's point. What I think, what I think MJ average, at the end of the day, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But what I think he would average 40, yeah, I think that. Just because um, having high percentage three-point shot. For sure, without a doubt, can MJ improve in the three-point shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, without question. You get to the, the foul line more. So that's more points too. All I can say is that I think great players are just uh, given whatever circumstance or situation they're in. And I'm just going to leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, hope y'all stay well. Stay blessed. Love us very much, man. Peace. I'm out. Woo!